was water and baby cakes. And this guy came out. And then he got dirt on his head. And some spiders came out too. Do you need to be free? You got something in your mouth? Am I supposed to pick them up? Let me get a stick. Here, get on my stick. Get on the stick. Oh, okay. Let's go for a ride over here. You know what? I'm probably gonna water that tree. Let's go for another ride, please. This guy is a stink beetle, not the stink bug. Uh, he's just like the stink beetle though, that he excretes a toxin from his butt and sprays predators with it whenever he's in danger of being eaten. What I wanted to know is if he was good or bad for my garden. So it turns out that his diet includes dead plant material, animal remains, roots, and seeds. So that's what makes him bad for the garden is that he would eat your plant roots and seeds but he's good for the garden in a way that he feeds birds and rodents and instead of them eating your plants they would eat these bugs uh, what I found out was kind of funny is there is a mouse called the grasshopper mouse that loves these guys and the way they get away from getting sprayed is they grab them by their head and they stick their butt down in the sand or dirt so that whenever he sprays it goes into the dirt and it won't spray him and he just starts eating him from the head up it's kind of gross but it was kind of funny to hear how he got around it and now i know he's not great for my garden but he's not horrible either so next time i find one i'll just move him out to the pasture outside of my fence so you know he can eat mesquite or wild grass or cactus roots instead of my plants. That is what I learned about the stink bug today.